What's up guys and welcome back to Planet 2. That's right baby, we're back. I know you guys have been asking for it. I know it's been about a week since our last episode. I'm sorry about that, but as you guys know from our last couple of episodes here in Franchise Mode, there was a pretty bad bug where you couldn't really buy animals. Like the, the marketplace just wasn't being populated and uh, they have officially solved that issue. So if we pull up our, uh, our little animal trading marketplace here, you guys will be able to see that, uh, ooh, can we buy a male? No, there's only a female available. Shoot, that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and take out, uh, take out all of our, our filters and everything like that. And look at this, we have a ton of different animals. Even if we turn on cash listings, because obviously we don't have very many conservation credits up until this point. Well, it's it's not it's not let me it's not let me click the filter option. There we go. All right, there still are some little issues and stuff, but check this out. There are so many things that we can actually buy and add to our zoo and obviously I'm very very excited about that obviously that's a uh, that's a good thing for us Ooh, look at that saltwater croc thousand dollars I'm gonna say let's I'm gonna say let's buy him I feel like he's gonna be hard to come by so I'm gonna buy him and I'm gonna keep him in waiting however we do already have some animals in our storage that we are gonna be creating for a uh, a new exhibit today and those are gonna be our African wild dogs. So you guys can see we've got three males and two females. And if we take a look at their Zoopedia, they typically roam in packs of two to 27. So up to 27 males and up to nine females. So I think this is gonna be pretty crazy. We're gonna put these guys in here. We're not gonna give them any contraceptives. I've got a feeling we're gonna have a ton of babies, which is gonna be kind of exciting. And uh, I guess, uh, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Speaking of babies, we do have a, uh, we've got a pregnant aardvark over here somewhere. Whoa, whoa, why, why are they in the box? They were in the box for some reason, I'm not sure why. Oh shoot, oh shoot, no, we're not pregnant anymore. We have a brand new, a brand new baby, which is obviously very, very exciting. This is our second baby aardvark we've had in this series so far. The first one we released to the wild, and I've got a feeling we'll do the same for this one. I'm actually curious. Let me see on our stud book. Our uh, Is this our male or our female? This is our male. He's very young. Let's check our female. She's starting to get a little bit older, but she's she's still going to be able to do her thing. Maybe maybe one more time, so that, uh, that'll be good. So... We've got all those. We also have our, our African buffalo here. You guys know their social's not great because they want one more friend. Let me see if we can find, if we come in here. It looks like there are some African buffalo that we could purchase, but it's going to cost us quite a few conservation credits, around two to 3,000, which we don't currently have. So uh, that's all right. This rock is out here because I did try rebuilding this thing a little bit. A lot of you guys said that it might not count as hard shelter for the aardvarks because the, the roof was too low. I tried it. It didn't work. I even tried moving this thing up like this, and it still didn't work. So I don't know if it's glitched or what, but uh, I think uh, I think we're going to we're gonna leave this as it is. I like, like, aesthetically, I like the way we have this set up so that they have, like, a private area in the back, and then they've got their little public area up front. So here we go. We are going to be moving on to our next... Our next exhibit, it's going to be happening right in here. And uh, like I said, it's its going to be with those wild dogs. They need no climbing, 1,162 square meters of land. They don't need any water, and they need it to be from 16 to 40 degrees Celsius, which is about typically what it is here. And they want a grade 2 fence. So I'm going to get our barriers out here. And grade 2 is going to be glass. We're going to be able to have an all glass fence, which is nice. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to start building here. So we're, we're going to start it here. We can bring it to there. And then let's, let's bring it around this way. We're going to have it run. I think, I think let's just give them an extra large area. Like I said, I mean, we're going to have lots of males and females. I've got a feeling there's going to be quite a bit of breeding going on. So who knows what actually ends up happening, but, um... We're, we're gonna plan for the, the worst and hope for the best. Bring this thing on around here and I think we should be able to uh, to just connect it like that. All right, looks good to me. Where should we put this? I guess uh, I guess this side might be the best. 
It's gonna keep it closest to our current setup for the employees. We might have to put another employee zone out over here, I guess. I guess we'll see what happens, but that's gonna give us 1,432 square meters. Honestly, not that much more than what they actually like require. So that's that's kind of crazy. Now, what did it say? I guess we could just start to bring these guys in, but what did it say for for the fence height? It doesn't have a boundary requirement. That makes me a little bit nervous, but I guess uh, I guess we'll just, I guess we'll find out what happens. You know what I mean? So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna move him in here, and we're gonna do the same for, uh, for all the other ones. So it looks like we've got our first delivery on the way, thanks to this wonderful caretaker here. Gonna go ahead and bring this guy in, and uh, he is gonna be our our first guest in this brand new habitat, which is kind of exciting. Let's see these guys. Look pretty cute. Look kind of naughty, I'm not gonna lie. Look at those big old ears. I like those spots. So obviously this big bear in habitat is no place for a uh, an African wild dog here. So let's see, let's see what he likes. He wants some hard shelter, obviously. We're gonna have to make them a really cool cave. Maybe with the waterfall or something. I don't know. They don't really need water, but I just feel like that could be kind of a cool thing to add. We'll see. Uh, like a little bit of grass, some long grass, soil, rock, and way less sand. Okay. So how do we want to do this? I'm going to say let's, let's build up the cave and stuff back here because people aren't going to be able to see them back there anyway. So we could build up the cave back here, kind of have this be like a grassy area, maybe with a river that runs through and a moat like around the outside. And then this could be kind of like potentially a, a sandy over area over here, but they, they primarily like short grass. So I, I think that's what, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Let's, let's go ahead and grab our terrain here. We're gonna go for some short grass and we're gonna make most, I'm gonna say, let's let's start with a, sh a short grass situation here. Short grass all across. Looks uh, looks good to me. Now we can add, we're gonna add long grass, like maybe on top of the cave. And then we could add a little bit of soil, rock and sand. I guess they want a little bit of soil. We could put soil around their cave too. Okay, let's, I mean, I say, let's let's make the cave. If we're thinking about making a big cave, let's just make the cave. Let's, let's start off with that. So let me take a look here. Uh, grassland biome in Africa. That's that's primarily what they want to work with. So we're going to come into nature and we are going to go with the grassland biome on the continent of Africa. Looks like we don't have any rocks available. So I'm going to take off the grasslands and I'm going to look for the... Does Africa not have any rocks? Okay, we're going to take off Africa. For whatever reason, Africa doesn't have rocks. I really don't understand it. But we're going to start... Uh, we're going to start building a, a little cave with these guys. Starting to kind of kind of come together a little bit. Really the the biggest thing is is I don't I don't like it when this stuff is clipping through the walls. I try to not have it clip through the walls. I know in our our last episode we had these plants on the back side of the buffaloes were were clipping over into the aardvark. Uh, enclosures, so I'm, I'm trying to prevent that from happening. I moved all those by the way. You can't really see it now But see look there's there's like there's like one right here. So like that is so annoying I feel like they shouldn't allow plants to clip through walls because obviously that's not realistic You could have a plant go up against a wall and it's not gonna go right through it, but um, We're starting to uh, start to come together here I think we need to bring it out a little bit more to turn it into a bit more of a cave, but um, it's looking pretty solid I'm feeling it. I'm 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 liking what we have so far, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put some some bedding in there, beds and shelters. We want the uh, the extra large, so we're gonna kind of stack this up a little bit again. Make sure it's not going through the fence. It's not perfect. We'll probably kind of move it a little bit so it's not all the same all the way around. Come across like that. I mean, this this is this is a place I would hang out in. I'm not gonna lie to you. This this looks this looks pretty nice if you ask me. We've got one more piece that I think probably something like that. Beautiful. All right. Please tell me that that's gonna count as shelter. Let's take a look at his uh, his his shelter here. Hard shelter. If we hit play, it's up there, baby. Let's go. All right. So our cave was a success. Now, I, I did say something about a waterfall and a moat. I'm not sure exactly if that's a good idea. Let me take a look. 
Let me take a look at the, the space situation here. I guess technically we could, I'm honestly not even sure how to, how to do a waterfall in this game. I think we need some sort of water. I feel like a moat around the outside could be cool. And maybe that could help because it, it seems like there's no, there's no requirement on fence height. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this down to a, uh, a one meter fence. And I guess we'll see what happens. That makes that a little bit sketchy. You know what? We should probably make this section a little taller. There we go. Something something like that. I, I have a hard time believing that these guys aren't just going to be able to jump out of here. But I I guess we're good for now. Okay. Like I said, let's uh, we've, we've got to start thinking about like the terrain and, and what we want to do for water. Let me see if we do come in here. And we do try to make a little, I'm, I'm thinking just something really small, a little moat around the outside. I just feel like that would be cool, but I don't, I, I don't know. Like if we filled that with water, would that be pretty cool? I feel like it'd be pretty cool. So the problem is, is the land gets really, it gets really weird around these corners. Like it starts to look pretty good, but then look, look at how it's, look at how it's, axe in those corners i guess if we made it really deep it gets rid of those lines but then that's i mean that's some some weird stuff like i i just i don't i don't like how that's i don't like how that's working out i don't know how to give it nice smooth lines around the corner because it's just not working it works great in the straights the straights look fine like if, if we put water down there that looks great that looks great but these corners start to get a little bit weird I don't, um, I just don't know what the answer is here. I don't know if we might have to do the grounds and make the moat before we put the fence down. It might be getting weird because it's so close to the fence on the corners. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it right there. So I think instead, I think we're going to go with just kind of like a, a little lake watering hole type area, maybe somewhere over here just to kind of fill the space a little bit. Actually, you know what? I've got a fun idea. Let's see. So I'm going to come in here. Let's take a look at the African continent. What type of a tree do you think they would like? Like a whatever that thing is, candelabra. We've got some interesting ones here. What about something like this? Do we have a slightly smaller one or are they all massive? They're all pretty massive. This one's probably the best. What if we put this here? Don't they like vegetation? Yeah, they're, they're okay with this coverage. They like that coverage. All right, so I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to say, let's take this and let's make like a little watering hole around it. Could be kind of cool. Might flood the tree a bit. I'm not trying to actually have the tree be a part of the water. So can we bring it back up directly underneath the tree? Let's make this a bit smaller and bring this up. So it looks a bit more legit, but then the tree has like a little moat surrounding it. I don't know. I don't know what's up with me and moats today, but I'm just kind of feeling like mixing it up a little bit. So we could probably even, I don't know. We don't want to raise it any because it's going to expose its roots. There we go. So we've got that and then we can bring the water in and do something like that. Although that's taken up a lot of space. Something like that. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. So then they have something if they want to cool off, if they want to go get a drink or something like that, it's there. But it's a reasonable size, and you guys can see they still have most of the, the land that they desire. Looks like we've, we've got some problems with staff. We've got... Oh, why are we fighting? Why, why are we fighting here? Can we... Let me check our social. Social group is good. Is fighting just a part of these guys? It says they're too hot. Also, enrichment is bad. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna box all these guys, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our vet research on. We've got to get our vets working on the wild dogs to make sure we have exciting things for them to be able to play with. So we're gonna go into our vet research. We're gonna put him on the the African wild dogs. Do your thing, Oscar. As these guys continue to come in, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, oh, they're so cute, dude. I'm gonna box them up for now. We'll unbox them when uh, when the time is right. Looks like we've got one just kind of kind of hanging out there. Good stuff. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. I mean that's a fantastic thing. Let's um let's raise the raise the prices then. Let's bring this up to ten bucks. Ten bucks a pop. Uh, ten is a bit of a bit of a jump. Let's let's move it up slowly. I'm gonna say eight eight dollars for an adult. Three fifty. Ooh ooh. 
they don't take points. Uh, not $35 for a child, that's that's for sure. Uh-oh, dangerous animal has escaped. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did he get out? How, how did he get out? I'm confused. Okay, I, lot, lots of things are happening right now. I'm thinking we may need a higher fence. I feel like the one meter fence is not not doing it for us. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up to the, the two meter fence. I'm gonna go to our habitat. We're gonna change this up to the African wild dog. And let's take a look at some of our feeding options. So we can say, uh, I guess we could do a, a big water pipe right over here. I like it like that. We could do a large food tray right over here. We could do a ball. Oh, we already have some research done. All right, I'm gonna put a ball there. I'll put a sprinkler, maybe kind of over here by the tree if they wanna get a little wet. And that, uh, that looks pretty good. I guess we could put a cardboard box maybe over here. Boom, all right, what do we, what do we think about that? Are we gonna stop fighting? Are we gonna stop fighting? We're just gonna keep fighting. Let's slow this down. I've got a feeling they fight just like that's what they do though. Like they seem like Oh god, there's a fr oh, there's a freaking buffalo running off in the distance. What is happening? How did you get out? When? Excuse me? I'm sitting here watching our dogs fight and that that sounds wrong. I'm sorry. And there's a buffalo running off in the distance. Okay, we've got to calm down here. Are we making money still? We're we're a little negative on money right now. Cash flow is not looking good. That is that is not that is not very cash money of us. I, another dangerous animal escaped. Bro, hold on a second. He's gonna eat our armadillos, or our, our whatever they are, aardvarks. So these guys definitely needed a taller fence than it, it mentioned. I think we might be good now. We're up to a two meter fence for these dogs. The dogs are still fighting with each other. Shoot, this is like the worst thing that we've done. Social is, is pretty good. They want, I think they want more space. I, shoot, we're, we're, we are running a tiny bit low on space. What is this guy doing over here? Looking for a snack? Bro, why are you half in and half out of the fence? You shouldn't be doing that. That's, that's against the laws of physics, first of all. Second of all, please don't eat my cute little guys over there. Is the baby okay? As long as the baby's okay, the baby aardvark, that's all that really matters. Okay, serious injury discovered. Who has an injury? Oh shoot, he's injured. We're gonna have to call the vet in here. We're gonna need to expand this space a little bit. Oh shoot, you know what? We also, I mean this, this uh, it's its partially my fault because we like, we put him in here and then we kind of let him run free and we didn't fully upgrade ex and do exactly what we wanted to do. We didn't give them any of their, their soil and stuff that they want. So I'm gonna make this a little bit, ooh, we don't want it that big. I'm gonna make it like a three and we're gonna put some, we're gonna put some soil out front of their little thing here. So that's gonna bring their soil up to where they like it. Maybe give them a little bit more. Beautiful. And then it kind of transitions into the, uh, into the what's it called? Their little, little hangout spot. So we've got that. They also would like a little bit of long grass. So I'm thinking maybe some long grass around the tree. That's where the water is. It would lead to, you know, some more growth. We're gonna add some reeds and stuff. You can put some, some long grass even maybe in the water a little bit. Beautiful, all right, so that gives them a little bit. They want a little bit more, which is fine. We'll keep, keep going around the tree here. There we go, okay, so they're, they're a little bit happier with that. That looks solid. The aardvarks have about 100 square meters of extra space. How much do these guys need? About 300 square meters. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to expand this path, unfortunately. I don't really love it, but that's just something we're gonna have to do. So I'm gonna bring out our path tool and uh, we're, we're gonna have to delete some of this. And we'll, we'll bring, oh shoot, we deleted some. We deleted some people when we did that, I feel bad, but. We're gonna have to bring it out this way a little bit more. Now the, the bad news with something like this is now our zoo is not gonna be perpendicular or parallel, not not perpendicular, not parallel. It's not gonna be, uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for here? Symmetrical is, is the right one, Trev. Uh, it was previously pretty symmetrical. <laughs> now it's gonna have, left nut's gonna be a lot bigger than the right one, but that's all right. I mean, that's typically how it is in, in real life, right? So we're gonna go ahead and delete all these. And then we're gonna have to bring this fence on around 
along the pathway. So I've run into a bit of an issue. Um, <laughs> are they going to disappear? Yeah, they disappear when we hit play. I was going to say that that could have been very, very funny. However, now if we take a look at this. This should be, oh yeah, everybody's welfare went up. We are still bad on enrichment, which let me see, let me see where we're at on our vet research. Looks like we're about halfway to level two, so that should, we should be able to help out with that soon. But that looks much, much, much better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some more short grass. Let's go ahead and paint all this with short grass. I'm gonna go ahead and move the water and the food over here just to encourage them to, to kind of get close to the fence. We definitely need to add some, um, some, some learning opportunities around here. We need to add some tip jars. There's, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff that we're gonna have to add, but I feel like, uh, I feel like we've got a, a nice little start here. We've also got a bunch of bushes I want to put in here. I do feel bad that this this one got... Oh, shoot. Do we not... We need a vet research facility, don't we? We don't have a vet research facility. All right. Or a, a veterinary surgery facility. We definitely don't have one of these. So there's, there's nothing they can do for him. So we're going to have to build this right now, which is kind of inconvenient. But boom. There it is. Vet research facility. You should... Uh, you should be able to take him in there. Let's see if he makes it in there. Nice. Okay. So that's good. Fighting for alpha status? I mean, that's just kind of what happens. Like that they're that's that's their tribe. That's what they do. So cool. Things things are looking good here. We've got a, a bit of breathing room, which is good. Looks like these guys are starting to get a little bit hot. So I'm gonna say let's let's put a um we're gonna come into our habitat. We're going to put a cooler right smack dab in the middle. And I actually, I think this might be an issue for all of our animals. I think it, I think it might, might be a little, a little hot. Temperature is not great there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put a cooler there. We're going to put a cooler here. And we're going to put a cooler here. Right in the middle. And we're going to set all these coolers to 40 degrees. 40 degrees is is where you want it 40 degrees Celsius just like that so we're gonna keep it at a solid 40 the entire time that's what all three of these animals enjoy and that way even in the middle of the day when it starts to get super super hot it's still gonna stay at least 40 and it looks like this thing could be moved more towards here and then we're gonna expand it a little bit give it a little bit bigger range so it covers most of the entire uh, the entire habitat and that should help out with the the cooling problem okay so now we're gonna come back in let's take a look at nature Africa and the grasslands what do we want to put in here we could put put some of these things near this tree they do like the water dude I'm really glad we got the water for him because I do see him swimming around in here a little bit that wasn't a necessary thing for us to add but they do enjoy it which is kind of cute I like watching them swimming around but yeah, we've got that. We want to dress this place up a little bit. We could put a baobab tree in there. We've got reeds. Oh, the reeds. I think the reeds are more of what we're going for here. Problem is you definitely don't want to put it on the tourist side in front of where they're looking. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put some of these reeds just kind of like that. Just give them a bit of a wall of protection if they need it, I guess. Shoot, speaking of all the tourists and stuff, we should, uh, we should, we should put down some, some tip jars and stuff. So we're going to throw down a, a donation box here. Let's focus on where these people are crowding up. We'll put one here. I guess we could probably put one here. And then we can do some uh, some speakers and some TVs and information signs. Put that TV right there about the African wild dog. We can do the same thing kind of over in this area. This is a good one because on this backside you can actually just see right in there and, and watch them napping and stuff, which is cool. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put a little tip jar down right next to it and then um i think we do need to get some power over here so we are gonna have to build another staff facility over on this side because this tv right here is uh is not is not currently powered so i'm gonna put that there we'll turn it on the dog it's not on right now but we'll know to uh to get some power in this area soon i think some uh some reeds like maybe maybe over here might pretty it up just a little bit so it's not all the rock you know what i mean so i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of stick it stick it back in here some they don't really i mean they look like reeds but they're also kind of pretty at the same time so i'm thinking 
I'm thinking if we put some reeds in these areas, it just kind of kind of makes it look a, a little bit nicer. So we've got some reeds in there. I'm trying to look. I mean, these guys, they like a little bit of, um, of the coverage. We do have a little bit more to play with, but they don't like a ton of it. I'm going to see... I mean, there's just, there's not a lot of color. There's not a lot of beauty here. I and mean, we could put a baobab tree in here, but I don't want it to get too clustered and too crazy. I don't really, I don't really know what else we would want to do here. I mean, we could put, you know, a few flowers here along the edge of the, uh, of the little ponds. Something, something maybe like that, you know, just to give it a little bit of color. I don't know. It's... It's kind of random. It might look better if we move it over here and we put it on each side of the uh, of the reeds. Yeah, I, I like having a little color, but I don't want it to just be to be totally random. So yeah, that that doesn't that doesn't look bad there. That looks like that could happen in nature. I'm trying to think. I mean, this is kind of the big open area, but that's kind of what they like. You know what I mean? Like these guys love to run around and play around and knock their ball around and everything else, and that's kind of what we're what we're providing for them here. Go ahead and speed up time a little bit, but yeah, I mean, our, our welfare is super solid. The only thing that's bad is the, the food enrichment, which we're about to get here in a minute. Let me take a look. I guess our vet was probably a little bit busy with the surgery she did, but it looks like we just got some more research there. So if we come into our habitat and we take a look at enrichment items, we now have the food enrichment dog ball, which we're gonna put in their big happy play area. And that should start to bring up the food enrichment a little bit. Honestly, it didn't do quite as much as I thought it was going to. I thought that was going to be just like an instant, instant fix for it. Let me see if there's anything else we can do. I think I'm going to move up to grade two food quality. We like to do that good food quality. It only gave us 20 to our food enrichment. So we're going to have to just let our, our vet keep going. And um, hopefully... We unlock another enrichment item here soon. I've maxed out all of our animals on, on premium food grade, grade three quality. I think we're gonna try to take as, as good, of, uh, good of care of them as possible. Let me see here, do we have some more vet research? Yep, some more research is completed. We're halfway to level four. Let me see in our habitats. We now have a chew toy. We have, ooh, a bamboo feeder. We could put this over here so they kind of play with it there. And then we could put a little chew toy over here. That's not gonna lie really really cute I love that so let me see many guests think tick tickets are overpriced well you literally just told me to, to increase the prices not that long ago so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna take it down to let's let's say five bucks for adults well I'll, I'll do six bucks for adults boom that looks good did um, did that bamboo feeder help us out we're up to an 80% food enrichment. So these guys really like to play with their food. I guess that makes sense. I do think I'm gonna add one more little thing. And this this is kind of funny. We might, if we ever get lions, we're gonna have to do this as, uh, as well. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We're gonna wanna rotate it back a little bit. Go ahead and solidify that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some other rocks and put them around it. Oh shoot, we actually kind of, we kind of want this to go all the way down to the ground. I don't know if they're actually going to be able to climb this or not, but I'm going to make them kind of like a, oh, is he pooping? I think he's pooping. He's, he's doing a good job there. Uh, we're, we're going to make like a little, little pride rock type thing. Maybe I, I don't, I don't know what else to put in this big area. I don't want it to be completely barren and boring. So we're going to make them like a, a fun little, little rock sculpture type thing. Bring this around this way, put it maybe like that. I, like I said, I, I don't know if they're capable of climbing. Kind of like the monkeys and some of the other stuff are, but we might as well give them something just in case. So we've got something like that. We could put, put some nice African daisies around it a little bit. You know, that's, that's kind of pretty. They might... They might appreciate something nice to look at. I don't I don't know what African wild dogs care about, but we can kind of set it up like that. All right, they've, they've got a little pride rock. Nothing crazy. I think if, if we get some lions, obviously we'll make that a lot more intense, but um, at least that gives them something to kind of play around with. Let me see. Ooh, fighting due to incorrect sex ratio. Shoot, is the baby 13 and a half years old, two, yeah. The baby's gotta go. 
So we are going to go ahead and uh, release the animal into the wild. We're going to get 177 credits for it. Bada bing, bada boom. The male is back to happy again. Let me see. Oh, oh, these guys can. No way. No way, dude. He's so cute. Are you kidding me right now? He loves it. I'm so glad we added that. That was kind of like a little last minute thing. I wasn't really thinking that was going to be that serious, but... It appears that uh, it appears that he really, really likes it. So there you guys have it. I think that's going to be it for our African wild dogs. They are in a good spot. 89% total welfare with the weakest thing being our species enrichment and temperature. Temperature could be a little bit better, but it's always going to be really hot out here in the desert. You know what I mean? So I think our next biggest thing is we're really going to have to worry about building a new staff area. And I think we're going to make kind of like a concessions area as well. And maybe a gift shop. Maybe add in a few more animals, but they're in like the exhibits and stuff and uh, I guess we'll see what we could do Oh shoot. We've got an issue here. Hold on. Let me pause this uh, We need uh, we need to also get new water. What's it called? We need to remove this water How do you remove water right here? We need to get a water treatment facility for uh, for this area That just turned into dirty water right there because if you guys can see here the water treatment facility we have over here does not cover it so we're gonna make a new staff area we're gonna make like a concessions type area and uh, things are uh, things are, are gonna be good so hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode thank you guys so much for watching peace out